さあ始めようか貴様正気か隊長の件でアムレートの何か分かったのですかああ、ok、so how do you want to start this now? Oh, you're the captain. Yeah, I am the captain. <laughs> this is a true story. I know. Another true story. You know, funny thing, I remember like, movies used to. Mo- movies do that too now, all based on real events. See, here's the funny thing. When people say, when people assume, when people read based on real events, they don't understand that it is based on real events. Yeah. But this is not based on real events. <laughs> This is not a true story. Um, so, after like doing a little bit of training,、uh, I still don't exactly know the story. <laughs> I mean, yes, I understand what's happening, but I just don't understand why they're so gung ho about、uh, wanting to kill them. Especially, you know, like, I understand that they took away their like foster mom or something, but it's still.、Yeah. Like, maybe that's. Maybe, yeah, it's maybe just like how, like,、uh, you know, how, how Sasuke is just like bent on revenge. <laughs> bent out of shape. <laughs> that, that shape. Just like, yeah, that's it. I'm going to be the Avenger.、Okay. The thing is, I'm with you on this. Like, the story is so muddled for me that, like, it reminds me how I felt trying to understand Gundam Wing. You tried to understand that? At least you tried. <laughs> Look, I tried to understand the show, the show, the movies I watch. I still don't understand Akira to this day. Okay, see, like, why? Okay, so here's. Akira is a little hard to follow only because there's, there's not enough,、uh, I guess, pretext behind it.、Uh, and they kind of just jump,、uh, put you right in the middle of everything, of literally everything that is happening.、Mm. Um, So, I mean, I know that, like,、uh, the Akira manga has, I think, maybe seven volumes to it. And the movie is only, like, I don't know, at least around, like, 80, 80 90 minutes.、Um, that's a lot of content to go through.、Mm. Like, seven, vol- seven volumes of manga. Because, I mean, it, I assume it, the manga goes through, like, the military experiments.、Um, The reason why、uh, Tetsuo and,、uh, or like Tetsuo and Kaneda, like, you know, hang out. And、uh, I mean, in the movie, it goes through, like, why they separate.、Uh, but they kind of, I feel like it was a little rushed. Maybe?、Yeah. I mean, because, like, I understand, I got the main, I think I got the main points, but it was still, it still felt very bare bones. So I understand your point there. And. That being said, I still think Akira is, for its time, is a phenomenal. Actually, I think still today, it's still a phenomenal piece of、uh, a- animation. No, that's why, like, most people, like, oh, we watch it. o k a y Just plug it in. Anyway,、um, that's why, like, it's one of the. It's, When you, when you recommend anime stuff, or even mention anime stuff, like, oh, I watched blank. Usually it's either Ghibli stuff or、uh, Akira. So that's why it's, like, it's, one of those, it's one of those staples in anime where just, like, it's, it is the most like, oh, I've seen things about this, or, or it's been heavily referenced.、Mm-hmm. That's why like, just, yeah, that's, you, you use that.、Um, I think my favorite thing, my favorite、uh, reference would be. Back in the day, Cartoon Network's Adventures of The Grim Adventures of Billy and Matt. Yeah, Billy and Matt. Oh, I love that. There's a. I can't remember. It was,、like、a, it was a chase scene where we started chasing. I can't remember. They were、like、all chasing. And Mandy, like, out of nowhere, she's like, starts chasing. But, like, the thing that she gets. The, the, the vehicle she jumps on is the bike from Akira. <laughs> like. It's one, of, yeah, it's one of those shows that just like you. It was just part of pop culture. Yeah, yeah. it's already a pop, part of pop culture.、Huh. Actually, speaking about pop culture,、uh, I'm supposed to. I'm, I'm leaning on the fence a little bit, or sitting on the fence a little bit about watching the Tokyo Ghoul live action movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our friend. Oh, oh, yeah, man,、uh, um, asked if I wanted to go. I think I'm gonna go. You're gonna go? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bite that bullet. <laughs> I'm gonna bite that bullet that I haven't bit in,、uh, I don't know, maybe six, seven years. There's a. Okay, 
out of the people he said he was gonna that he said he's gonna fight, there's one that I'm very surprised that he's squeamish at gore. That's why he's not going. I didn't know he was. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. It is kind of strange considering that like he um that he watches stuff like uh oh that means he probably won't like mm, he probably won't like Made in Abyss because that's actually really good. I've seen I've seen uh, highlight reels. Oh, fucking scares me. Oh no, it's good. It's very good. Like yeah, it's, it's great to watch. No, no, no. It, it, watch it, a little girl's arm getting chopped off. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw you switch gears so fast. <laughs> okay, okay. Here, do you do you want me to spoil it? The arm didn't get chopped off. Yeah, I know it didn't get chopped off, but the fact that she had to, they had to try. No, but that's that's the like. Okay, so if you if you don't know, it's say it's made by the uh, director that also directed Monster. Oh, that should be fun. Yeah. So the idea, but the the idea of like the like. Enduring innocence, even in darkness, is so uh, is actually always challenged throughout that show, and it's so beautiful. Um, and I like that. Like this, um, this show in particular, like I think it in terms of record, I think that in terms of shock value, um, it beats it beats uh, Madoka so easy. Yeah, <laughs> but Madoka has Shaft. <laughs> well, no, no, no. How do you that's beat what, Shaft? I, I, no, no, it's not going to be overall. I'm say, that's why I said shock value. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way, like, I've seen, like, I follow some sites, and they, and, they, and one of the sites do, uh, you know, highlight screenshots and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, this is what happens. Like, I think at one point, at one point, the, to find, I think, as I understand from the screenshots themselves, they... Uh, one one of the friend the companions goes a little bit deeper into the thing to find something to cure, yep. and meets up with another person, mm -hmm. and he and she go farther, and then at one point get into contact of this some sort of smoke and turn and starts turning them into furries. Oh yeah, which that like, is here's the thing so when I see fucked <laughs> when I hear, when I when I saw I'm like oh he's turning into a furry. And then she turned into goddamn like. Well, if, I, mean, I, I wouldn't really call you, it. If I told you, hey, if there's a furry <laughs> fanatic, and I told him, hey, you can turn into a furry too. Like I do it. If I were to do it, the only way way I do it is if I hated the person out of spite, just to watch them transform. Because goddamn, if if you want, if you want like um, a reason not to be a furry. That's one. <laughs> That's one. You, if you ever watch the series you, and you find that scene on top, that you really, it, yeah, it's so like it's, the stories are so sad. It is so sad, and it's and I can't handle that. It's not the gore. It's no, but like it's not it, the gore that will that will turn me off. It's it's the it's the fact that in the series there's like some heavy tribulations that they have to pass heavy through. Heavy tribulations. There, there will be people dying. Yeah, it's but like that. That's that's the like like uh, you know what? I'm gonna okay. spoil it. The 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 furry I, I'm in, I'm inferring. It's not just that they turn into furry. They also die later. You know, like, okay. as if it wasn't bad enough. Okay, so uh, okay, so now that we're talking about it, because I forget their names, but man, it was fucking good. Um, it was so. Oh, okay. So basically, what's how it's happening here? He's striking a deal so that way they can, uh, so that way Jutlin can uh, not get into war yet. No, not get into. It's not not get into war, but like have allies against the Ruzi Empire. Uh, uh, so he's giving back. He's playing into their historical and political uh, history. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. His, or sorry, historical pride and political history, such that they can get an ally in the war. Uh, that's what's happening. Uh, and he and he kind of sinks his teeth in, or the politician that uh, the traitor is talking to, he kind of follows, he, he gets seduced into joining in a very coy way. Um, anyway, so Made in Abyss, um, yeah. Um, not for the faint of heart. You, what? Oh, not for the faint of heart. No, it is not for the faint of heart, but it is, but it is an, a, a very good story about uh, enduring innocence even in dark times. It is very, very good. Um, I, especially for the like for those that like uh, the more mature uh, yeah, character is. style, uh, they will be turned off at first because the character, the character, the main characters are very 
Um, I guess they're, they're, they look like they're for like 10 year olds. No, 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 no. The animation itself, you look at it and you're like, yeah, this is something that, like, I'd, give, I'd let the, my, little, my little sister or something watch. Yeah, but this is not for 10 year olds. This is, uh, this is probably for like at least a mentally stable 16 year old. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's a dime a dozen, huh? I know, right? Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, when you read things like Flowers of Evil, well, <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's it, it the theme of injure like injure again enduring in innocence even against the darkness is so well done. It's well uh, done. And I just, wish I, I I just can't do it. That's fine. Like I wish this had more. Um, I had more steam behind it because I think it was one of the best in the summer season. Oh, they're not going to keep. They're not going to keep going. Uh, they, they've put out a. They've put it. They've ended it on a relatively good point where it's like. <sighs> watch the last episode. It it it, it, it sucks. It sucks so much. I'm, I'm gonna watch, just tell me the damn spoiler. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 Are you are you sure you want to know, Clint? I don't. I'm, I'm not going through that shit. I've seen the. I've seen screenshots. Okay, so okay, so you figure. So uh, the furry. I, man, I wish I, I remember the names. But the furry has a friend who's horribly deformed. Yeah, I know that and, one. And she cannot die. Be uh, like, they've done experiments, or the people that they escaped, that those two have escaped from have done experiments to them endlessly. Uh, and one of them was specifically trying to kill uh, their uh, that uh, disfigured friend. Uh, and they couldn't do it. The only, the closest they got was kill, uh, taking out an eye. And it not regenerating. <laughs> it's it's tough. And then, uh, uh, so when what's her name gets uh, healed from the poison, uh, the furry and the mechanical boy, uh, they have a small little conversation, uh, and she asks she asks him to kill her with his weapon. Yeah. It was, it was, shit. It was so like it was so sad like they put it they they brought her into the back garden and they they put her onto like a picnic cloth with all her favorite things like you know as if they were going to getting ready to take a shot with a with a camera but instead it's going to be a shot with an arm cannon. Um and she was like she turned her back the furry turned her back. Uh after like she hugged her and said I'm gonna miss you. Uh, everything's gonna be all right now. She she left the scene. She turned back and she told him to fire. And reluctantly, he charged up his arm cannon, and it was gonna blow. Or it was it was getting ready to shoot. And she jumps right in front, saying, "No, I don't want you to go. I, I know I'm really really sorry. And I, you know all that stuff." And then oh god. And then she and then she she was she she was ready to let go, and, and then she's like goodbye, and then. And then the art, and then he, he again he reluctantly shot the cannon, cried as he shot the cannon, and you see you see the the set, her toys and yeah. her like blow away yeah. into smithereens, and it was the hardest thing to ever watch. I like I felt so bad watching it. It was I mean it's kind of it's almost bringing me tear to tears just even describing it. Cause it's so vivid. And I'm like, oh, I know, I know. I, it I, is I, so hard. <sighs> like it was. Oh god. The, the for me it was it the turning point. Up, up where was when they meet. Oh yeah. When they first meet and they weren't furries yet. Yeah. Oh my god. When they were yeah. When they're they're poor uh, orphans from the upper upper levels of the world. And they're taken away on this adventure to escape their li to escape their current lives for a better future. I'm like, this sucks. Like we know they're gonna be, we know they're gonna be. They're just they're just used. They're gonna be used as as experiments or slaves and some some sort of thing like that. Anyway, it sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. Huh. I'm sorry. I'm not. I can't. I can't subject myself to that. I can. <laughs> God damn. Man, it was gr it was so good. It was so good. Like, <sighs> if, like, oh, I can't remember the name. Or, I think, yeah, I can't remember the name of the series. It was a uh, the one that the, the one from the dimension came uh, to our came to Earth came to Japan in particular. The one in the cube. 
cute. Oh, well, cuddle, the right answer. Yeah, cuddle. I was very, I, I felt very bittersweet about the, the ending. About the ending. About how, like, their daughter <laughs> was, or how they, how they, like, in hyper time, uh, had sex, made a family, <laughs> and uh, had their daughter uh, complete, uh, complete the mission and defeat uh, what's his name yeah just have to but the one thing other thing is just like I hated it I I, I see bittersweet because it's just it felt very it was off it was off in many reasons one of them being is just like I get that you guys spent you you guys virtue like the, the you guys like the guy for his name already god damn like I'm freeing this year I'm not the so negotiator yeah negotiator I know they live in a, like basically a, a lifetime together and everything. Yeah. But you guys lived together for a very long time. Yeah. In hyperspace. Yeah. But still, they lived. And he died. Yeah. And they glazed over it. And they were they were okay with it. I'm like, are you? Mm, yeah, sure, that's a plan. But mm, there's probably better ways to do it than that. Exactly. There, there, there could, could have been anything. But they're like, oh, we had to kill him. Right? We need a sacrifice. Needed something to surprise him. To surprise him with a daughter. That's it. <laughs> and then he goes, like, I am surprised. I go home. <laughs> that's it. Oh my God. He didn't have to die. That was. That really irked me. Like, yes, they had to beat him because he was being tyrannical, but like. Also, I didn't like that. Or just like, it, 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 it felt like the series was like. Uh, it wrote itself into a corner. It wrote itself into a corner. Also, that. Yeah, in terms of. For me, I would say they wrote themselves into a corner because up to a certain point, I, re I started noticing, I'm like. There is no, no there's no form of a wall slash antagonist. We just kept going and going and going, and I'm like, there is, there's gotta be some sort of conflict, whether it be. No, there, there was a conflict, uh, but like the, there was a message that it was trying to get at, and well, it wasn't exactly. I don't. I think me personally, I think the message was that it, it was a reflection of current society and how it um cur well current global society and how it uh how how they act and how they would act given all of the i love that all, all Actually, things I like that, that they yes, really needed like yes i loved it especially with the way that like the the un was like man fuck you japan share it with everybody uh and, or else we're gonna we're gonna make an embargo a trade embargo and they're japan's like well what the fuck did we do? We only just got this. This isn't really our fault. Because he just happened to land here. But that's that's what happens, right? Mm. If if a country somehow just gets this this upper hand, they're gonna they can get alienated, and it sucks. Like like the things that they did and cuddle the right answer it was right, except for the end, which was not right. It was. <laughs> I was. I, I don't. Yeah. I was very bitter about it. Let's just say that. Never bittersweet. I'm just very good about it. Okay, so now uh, we've got through all the cutscenes, so now I can go on to my save file. But wait, um, so since okay, you know, yeah, I so if you guys didn't notice or not, pretty sure it didn't. Um, I'm gonna date this is October. October twentieth. Uh huh. <laughs> this is just like. Uh, yeah, just do it. Anyway, October 20th, and a week ago, I just came back from, uh, from Florida. From where in Florida? Orlando. Wait. Oh, yeah? What you do in Orlando? Oh, my God. It was like... Okay, we did four of the five Disney parks, and uh, two days of... Uh, Bush Gardens? No. No. Uh, Universal. Two days because like one day it was just general going to all the attractions and stuff. Wait. All the, yeah, attractions, and the uh, second day was uh, to try out the Universal's version of Halloween Haunt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, how can I say this nicely? Was this was it actually scary? Please tell me yes. Have you been to Wonderland? Yeah. Yes. What did you think about it? Eh. Eh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you want to go to Halloween Haunt, just. You don't need to spend that much just to get scared. Just go to Wonderland. Actually, I can spend I can spend like fifteen bucks on a game on Steam, and it'll scare me better than that. <laughs> much better than that, and I can keep it all to myself and revisit it any fucking time I want. Probably, but yeah, that was that was, that was a general thing. Can I skip this. Thank you. Okay. 
here's the thing I was um despite despite the thing there was there was a, no, a couple of things within our group I, I got used to it but I still jump mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain that I mean I, I notice it I know what it is but like it's just I think just um me running on the adrenaline oh by the way I'm just gonna do a little bit of like and administrative stuff, I guess, sure. uh, while you talk. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, think of Halloween Haunt and Wonderland. Mm hmm But I'm still, I still get jumpy. Yeah. So, I, in all respects, out of our group, I got the most money, because apparently, fear, how scared you are, apparently equals how much, how good the experience was. Oh. And I, overall, I always jump, so it's like that. I see. But I, I saw how I could get... Old, it got old fast. One of the main things is just like it's the same as Wonderland in the aspect that I guarantee that Wonderland and Universal could have mm. gotten scary, but if if yeah they didn't shove everybody through the door. Uh, by shove you mean like they 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 had people going like please keep moving or yeah. Oh, yeah, that's kind of a... That does take away from the experience, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, no, like, I'm gonna admit it. I did, like... I always get scared. I'm the, I, I'm the, I'm the group's resident scaredy cat. But, like, I could see where it gets scary. I mean, it, 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 where it's just like, okay, yeah, I get it. Okay. It, I don't know. I... I, I, I okay, so this. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, it's just... It's no different from, like, Halloween Haunt. It's just more famous stuff. Like, we... We went to, uh... Which one? We went to... All of the Halloween attractions there were based off movies, so... Yeah. The ones I went to... Actually, no. There's one that's original, but, like... One of them was, uh... Saw. One of them was, uh... The Hive. Wait, Saw's a... Oh, Universal, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was like, Saw's a Disney property? <laughs> there was a there was a Halloween party thing happening at Disney. I, I, but the thing is we wondered like should we even attend that? I don't even know if we should because it's like what could it's a Disney it's Disney and it's Halloween. Are they going for the party aspect or the scary aspect? You know what the scare uh, I bet you their biggest scare the biggest scare they would have at Universal or at Disney World is being bought out by Universal. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> uh.